Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries where we have a little bit more news on the starter motor. So after a lot of messing around, finally got the uh, starter motor wired up. It's a starter motor from an Audi, I believe, uh, which is twice as much uh, power rating as the old Dynastart and twice as much rotational speed. So what do we have to do to fit this bad boy in? Well, the starter motor isn't meant to be permanently engaged, so we've had to fit a Sprague clutch one-way bearing, which is in that piece there. Uh, then a support bearing on the outside, circlips on this shaft, circlips on the inside of here, keyways on this shaft, keyways on the inside of here. Lots of work, some support for the support bearings, then of course the um, keyway for the nut on the end, and just needs a, a little bit of... Um, play taken out of that and then refit the chain and remake the chain tensioner assembly under here and everything else but that work is done and it does turn the motor quite rapidly which is good news now i did post a very very short video of that on instagram and when the engine first starts because my uh, youngest was making the video you can see she jumps a mile because she wasn't expecting it to make quite that much noise. And it really is quite quite the boom that comes out of the plug holes when you engage the starter. So it's difficult to do this on my own. I'm gonna, gonna have a go, for, just bear with me for one second. I should be able to demonstrate. Hello. There we go. So I'm quite happy with that. I think um, having seen Bob's drawing of the new head and a lower compression and just taking the stress out of everything, we decided we are going to make a new head. Uh, so I've ordered some aluminium for that. Um, but by and large, I think that that is a much better way to start the bike than using the Dynastart. And we also have a great idea for charging the battery as well, which is this bad boy. So Nick came up with this idea. It's a motor, it's a three-phase motor off an electric skateboard. So it's intended to run one of the wheels. Um, and what the idea is, is to do away with the sensor wire, use the three connectors and fit three, sorry, six diodes um, to give us a DC waveform and then use the regulator that we already have. Now what this, this can do, this can go underneath or on top of the um the belt so the primary belt when it's running will run this as a little jockey wheel and that will charge the battery we're expecting to get 19 volts dc at uh, engine speed or peak engine speed so with a bit of regulation that should be about right but what we're going to do is pop that on the walco lathe spin it at various speeds fit the diodes measure the voltage and measure the output uh, the nice thing about this is you, you clamp that part of it there and run the rest of it off the um, belt and it works well it should work a treat this is also a way that we can potentially tension the belt if we need to when we fit the gearbox back in situ so i'll be working on the gearbox and the plates and aligning the two chains bob will be working on making a new head uh, there's a fair bit to do but at least we have a plan and a direction of travel talking of the walko the beautiful walko did its first job today so machining the uh, boss on the sprocket on the end of the starter motor that drives uh, starts the bike so we did uh, a little job just set up here on the walko and it uh, it's a beautiful machine really ple really pleased with that so um auntie lynn if you're watching thank you very much uh it's it's a pleasure to use and i'm sure john would be very pleased about that right um that's it for today as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow